Hello, everyone. Welcome to the program. I just, first of all, I wanted to show these glasses off because I just got them. I had similar glasses, but the, the frames were too small. And I loved wearing them, but they weren't good on my face. I needed a little blue light. They tint in the sun. I like to put them on when I'm on the airplane. They put the lights on. I like to go to sleep. And uh, so I needed bigger ones. So I'm not going to be wearing these. And this is why I'll always say that uh, I, I don't have the lenses in the glasses when I'm on camera. Because I got this glare. Imagine that every episode of, of Hey, and I've got this glare. It would be insane. Anyway, I just wanted to show them. Then I'd have to be pointing like this the whole time. Anyway, those are the glasses. They're working fine. That's the first order of business. The second order of business, if you have not already, please go watch the latest episode of Hey EW with Mark Briscoe. I was not ready for the man. We have never really spoken before. Where's my coffee? We have said hello before. Never really spoken. He was fantastic. He was more of himself than I could have possibly anticipated. And I think that's, that really registers on my face. Go watch it. They're putting, since Rampage was yesterday, they're putting up all these other videos at the same time. I don't want it to get lost. So please go watch it. Like it, comment, share it, send it to other people. Uh, so Mark at least gets the love he deserves. I never will because my void is unfillable. But uh, Mark is fantastic. Go love him is all I have to say. Please go do it. And now the the Hayes, I guess, are premieres now. So at 7 a.m. Eastern, you can watch it in the live chat. I don't know why anyone is up watching live at that hour. But nevertheless, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing for the videos. It doesn't matter. Because regardless, just go watch and share and like and do your shit. And then next week, I'm in St. Louis. And St. Saint, Saint Louis, because, oh, yes, that's it. I'll be doing a Spaces at 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. I don't remember. Look, fuck it. It's fine. You'll see it on the Spaces. This is why I'm practicing. I'm on Spaces right now. I'll be interviewing Adam Cole and Britt Baker about AWL Access, the hot new show, premiering at 10 p.m. that night. And I'll be grilling them about their personal lives. I've had license to do so because that's what the show is. So I'm excited to delve. And then after that, after that, I'm going to Los Angeles for that big week that's going on. I'll be at the Ring of Honor pay-per-view on special assignment. And then who knows where else I'll be popping up. Weird things are bound to happen. Weird things always happen. Let's talk to people. John Brown said, I got a question for you, RJ. Since you seem to enjoy the older TV intros, do you like older black and white movies as well? Of course I do. I also like the colorized ones where they thought people hate black and white. So let's turn the contrast way up and give them colors that do not exist in real life. Leo said, back to matching daylight saving time, but I forgot about it and woke up later than I wanted. Leo is living a comedy of errors. Amanda said, good morning. Mike said, good morning. Christine said, good morning, everyone in chat. The way I cackled at Mark's reaction to cultural ruin, I put Mark Briscoe through a little... Uh, intellectual lightning round. By the way, Christine, it was her birthday last week, or well, this week, technically. Happy blessed day to you. Josh said, good morning. That might have been my favorite hay episode. Morgan said, good morning. Love today's hay. Uh, I, that makes me so happy. Kevin Featherstone is here, the legendary, at least to me. Good Sunday, folks. Pam said, good morning. Mia said, good morning. Kendi, Mass, Guard Swan said, good morning. Mia said, Christine, what request would you like for your birthday? I guess Christine gets a free song, song request for it's her birthday. I didn't make the rules. Toxic said, good morning. Typo said, what a chaotic man Mark is, but wrapped in a good heart. A, a rough, rusty, might need a little sandpaper. It was a good heart. So Sierra said, good morning, everyone. EJO said, hey, RJ, which is your favorite tooth? I always like this one here, the, the canine one. Because it's a very, it's a dog. It's like a dog tooth, you know. Like these are normal. I want to get it just totally. I want to get this straight. A nice fake Regis Philbin teeth thing. You know who does have nice teeth? QT Marshall has nice teeth. You see him on QTV, and it's like he's he's chomping away. And that's, I mean, it reminds me of the journalists of old, the great teeth of a Geraldo Rivera. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, Nail said, howdy, Judy. Molly said, hey, y'all. Leonard said, good morning. So Sierra said, today's episode of Hey is delightfully chaotic. Steve said, my girlfriend was so nervous to meet you in Winnipeg at the show. Did she end up meeting me or did she just whatever? Ethan Page, I will say, was at a show, Clash Wrestling, in Detroit last night and sent me a picture. There was a couple. Uh, the woman was wearing his shirt. The man was wearing my shirt, and that made me very happy. It was a little, nice little combo. He said, isn't this nice? Machete said, good morning, all of you beautiful souls. Christine, uh, oh, oh, she's making a, Christine's making a request. Okay. Josh said, this tooth question is making me die laughing. God bless you. Mass said, these glasses are Will Jordan-esque. I'll take it. I always try to find the Charles Nelson Riley glasses, but I don't make them anymore. Manuel said, are there any questions that were cut on the video or is what we see what we get? I would say 99% of the time, what you see is what you get. Other times, you know, sometimes because we film the episodes and then maybe they don't come out for a couple of weeks. Sometimes the things we've asked are no longer relevant. Maybe people are not holding titles or, or people have gotten into fights with other people and then the question makes no sense. Other times, it's just a time thing. Sometimes two people talking you need to tighten it up a little. There's a little back and forth that goes nowhere. And you go, well, let's cut to this chase. And then other times, you know, there's audio issues. We were filming those. Uh, you'll see in the Kingdom episode and you'll see in the Dalton episode, they constantly make fun of how big the room is because that's it was a room where there was a lot of things going on. And sometimes there's audio where, you, where it just makes no sense. So you got to get rid of it. And that's fine because the, the gist is still there. I would say, generally speaking, it's exactly what happened. People are always like, release the extra footage. What's been cut? And usually what's been cut is me afterwards turning to the camera and go, was it, there was something there, right? Was everything okay? Tracy said, good morning, everyone. The Mark episode was hysterical. Maria said, Mark was fantastic. Uh, Nail said, we are constantly trying to fill the void, aren't we all? Human Adventure said, good morning, lovely people. I'm at the beach. Mm, 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 mm. You all have a tremendous day. Much love to Mark. Our heart goes out to him. Christine said, my void is unfillable. The RJ City story. Rob said, what's the closest you've been to breaking character on AEW? Well, that's funny because it presumes that I have a character. What? Um... I think I've only really had to start again once other than when I mess up a question. Like it doesn't, cause I, I go fast and there's a lot going on and sometimes it doesn't come out right. And I really do that again. But then sometimes I mess up and I leave it in because whatever. Um, I think I, I do recall my, I always feel myself laughing inside and I do think I laughed when I asked Ruby Riot if she had any tattoos. And I feel like they must have cut around it. But it feels like I did. I have no idea what it looked like on camera. Because I don't see the full rough cut. I only see after it's edited. But I would say that one got me. Morgan said, Dan Housen is up in the chat asking about teeth. What? He's here? I don't see him. What a weird man. I hope he gets better or finishes his angle with his shoulder, whatever the gimmick is. Susie has been a member for 15 months. Oh, dear, Susie, look at us, huh? Jaga said, good morning. He's from the UK, or she's from the UK. This person is from the UK. Pam said, the husband and I watched Hey W on separate phones to, to support you. Thank you so much. And if you're done watching it, you just watch it again. Uh, Christine's birthday request is save the last dance for me. Let me look it up. Uh, lyrics. I remember the song and I could uh, Now you can dance to, to, to every dance with the guy who gives you the eye. Let him hold you tight. Da, 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 da. And you can smile to, to every smile for the man who held your hand beneath the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So, darling, save the last dance for me. Da, 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 da. Oh, I know da, da, that the music's fine like sparkling wine. Go and have your fun. Laugh and sing. But while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone. So he's, he's letting his girlfriend dance with whoever he wants. 
But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're going to be. So, darling, save the last dance for me. But don't, 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 don't love you so. Can't you feel it when we t touch? Oh, my God. I will never, never let you go. I love you oh so much. We don't need these lyrics. This guy's running out of words. You can dance. Go and carry on till the night is gone and it's time to go. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. If he asks if you're all alone, can I walk you home? You must tell him no. I guess the, the boyfriend's watching from the bar here. So don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms are you going to be. Oh, darling, save the last dance for me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, baby. Save the last dance for me. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. So we see it's sort of a um, soft cuckold experience here. He's watching her dance with a variety of other men. And at the end, he just gets to claim her, I guess. Yeah, he enjoys the jealousy and he enjoys singing about it. It's the threat. It stirs up something animalistic inside of him, uh, which is expressed here through a song, but ultimately within the context of the song, it's expressed through dance. So interesting choice there, Christine, and happy birthday. Dark Shadow said, so when are we getting an odd couple reboot with Mark and RJ? Everyone always says, oh, there should be an odd couple with you and somebody else, you and somebody else. So what, why? Am I just the odd one if, if everyone asks, no matter who I pair up with? Jocka Gray said, some like it hot. Is it the best movie ever made? No, it's good, but no. Sean said, coalescing after a bachelor party. If you could wish my friend OB a happy wife, that'd be super amazing. I'd mostly be lurking this morning. OB, enjoy that life, happy uh, life, happy wife. No more strife. Get a knife and uh, maybe spread a trife uh, of love over. Uh, run out of uh, rhymes. <clears throat> David Kaplan said, good morning. How about a little Phantom? Let's do, let's do the swing version of the Phantom, the one that they do in Vegas. So much better. No more talk of darkness. Forget these wide-eyed fears. I'm here with you beside you to warm you and to guide you. All you want is freedom, a world with no more night. And you always beside me to hold me and to guide me. Then say you'll care with me one life, one lifetime. Let me lead you from this solitude. And that guy with that face, say you'll care for me one lover, one lifetime. Promise me that all you say is true. Ba -dum -ba. Christine, that's all I ask of you. The bum ba. All I want is freedom, a world with no more night. I'm Christine now. And you always beside me to hold me and to guide me. He was born to love you, make your song take flight. And you always beside me dun, bum, bum, dun, to guide me. Then say you'll get with me one life of one lifetime. Say the word and I will follow you. Ba, 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 ba. Spend each day with me, one uh, night, one lifetime. Anywhere you go, let me go too. Okay, sounds good. Christine, that's all I ask of you. ba dum ba That was a little bit of the phantom for you. Swinging and happening. It's some, the, the play is so much more fun when you do the music that way. You don't feel so bad at the end. <clears throat> <sighs> Sean has been a member for 32 months. Your favorite wedding related song oh my god i'm singing my ass off already um okay uh, uh 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 yes don't go changing to try and please me you never let me down before <laughs> i can talk to and i don't need you anymore I would not leave you in times of trouble. We never could have come this far. Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba. I'll take the good times and I will take the bad times and I will take you just the way you are. 
but I'm bum, don't go trying some new fashion. Don't change the color of your hair. But I'm bum, 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 you always have my unspoken passion. Although I might not seem to care, this guy sounds like a catch. I would not leave you in times of trouble. We never could have come this far. Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba. I just want someone that I can talk to. Here's the finish. I love you just the way you are. Ba -ba -ba -boo. It's my favorite wedding related song. Josh said, RJ, your watch in the recent Hey W episode looks good. Where can I get one? I don't know. My grandfather gave it to me. It didn't fit him anymore. Or it never fit him. He got swollen wrists and he gave it to me. I have no information about the watch. Amanda said, I was there for the premiere, but I fell back asleep during it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I don't know if this premiere thing is viable. Poe Girl with a wonderful golden rod tribute. So thank you. I don't know what else to say to that. Uh, Jen said, It's my birthday. Thank you for my cameo, Jen. Of course. Thank you. Happy birthday. Nail said, Happy culture. Uh, Poe Girl said, The vampire teeth, vampire canine, the whole thing. I'm, I'm very far behind. Uh, B3 said, Mark might be my new hero. Also, good morning. Hope it's a good day. Uh, Corey said, QT was off TV and came back with the roaming treatment with new teeth and new hair. I don't know what you're talking about. He always looked like that, as, as far as I know. Leo said, QT went to Turkey to get his hair done. So he probably went there to get his teeth done. Turkey is a full service kind of place. But I, don't, I don't think he got anything done. Steven said, his wife got a selfie with me. I told her not to be nervous. I, she did fine. Noble Matt said, last week I was on the toilet when I tuned in. This week, the bath. That's how bad the toilet was. Squirrel said, I finished Hey, and I got to say, this is definitely my favorite episode so far. I like the Larry the Cable Guy comparison, but I always pinned him as an earnest type. But lest we forget, Squirrel Squad, how absolutely fuckable the wonderful Jim Varney was. And so it's always an important thing to note. I always like to throw that out there. Thank you, Squirrel Squad. Nick said, good morning. My community is having a garage sale this week, and I have made exactly $1 in the last 94 minutes. But I've had Black Betty Ram by Ram Jam playing on a loop, so it's a good day. Maybe that's the answer to what's happening. Jen said, thank you. Hey, do you want to buy a wicker chair? Oh, Black Betty. Bam. The what? Oh, Black Betty. Bam. I'll give you eight. To Black Betty had a chair. Bam, bam. What about six? Play something else. Put on some Rod Stewart. Jen said, thank you, everyone. Mass Sanity is one of my best friends, along with my good guy husband. What? Mike said, do you know QT's hair guy by the channel? I think he just he just blows it and styles it. Um, Bazit said, hello from Pakistan, my naked friend. How have you been? Love today's episode. Mark is indeed a thinking man. So much wisdom. There is a, an earthiness to him. Nail said, what do you think Mark sees when he stares like that? I think he sees the whole world in front of his eyes. Pogra said, I will forever be picturing Mark Briscoe looking through piles of dog dew. Uh -huh. Maria said, release the gag reel. I hope people realize these are rough enough that there is no gag reel. Christine said, when you wish me a blessed birthday, it feels sarcastic. I'll take it. Well, I'm not the Pope. Mia said, what does Adam Cole smell like? Uh, it's a, like a summery breeze kind of cologne. Something that is in like a white bottle. <clears throat> does that make any sense? Uh, Christine said, you think, well, this is a character? Rod said, is the strangest part of wrestling sharing space with people for years but not knowing them then suddenly working with them? I don't think that's a strange part of wrestling. I think that's a strange part of, like, working for big companies or being in music or being in comedy. And there's people you see and know of. You don't necessarily meet. And there's people you literally just say hello to because you're in the same room. And then you don't have to, you don't work with them. These people I haven't, these people I know. Brent Banks is one of them, a fantastic wrestler. And we wrestled once in training and we had a tremendous match and we always wanted to do it. But every time we'd be booked together, something would happen. The show would be canceled. The card would get switched around. And we never actually got to wrestle. It was one of the few people of that, that lineup in Ontario where we all kind of started at the same time and we never got to actually wrestle. Maybe one day. Uh, Poe Girl said, yes, RJ, you have a character on AEW. Noble Matt said, RJ, do you see what today's episode of the New York Times The Daily was? The story of Danhausen and your name was John. Is this the same old article from before? Eh, I've seen it. Where they where they called me a uh, 
a fellow wrestler, fellow AEW wrestler, not exactly the paper of record. Leo said, what do you hate more, British child actors or spiders? I, ugh, man, that's tough. I would have to go over spiders just because, unless British child actors can start crawling on the ceiling. Neil said, uh, yeah, that's, he's a, she's asking about the article. Mia said, I love when he does commentary when he sings. I like to put things into context. Rod said, what's the proper way to store coffee cups? Stand up, upside, stand up, stand up, stand up or hanging. I don't think upside down is good. I feel like that traps moisture inside. Aaron said, my dad's band covers this song. God bless your father and his band. Kirk has not had that, heard that song for 20 years. Uh, Rob said, the short with your mother singing does not play. It does if you remember. Gotta be a Key to the City member. That's the way that works. By the way, Key to the City members, I'm recording the Ask RJ for March tomorrow. So you have until the end of today to get your questions in. Uh... Nail said, Rob is crying, laughing right now. You explain the lyrics. Well, it's important to know them. We need to discuss these lyrics. Uh, Maria said, Max cast a reference cuckolding in his rap last night. Interesting. It's going around. It's happening. <clears throat> uh, Leo has a request. You attacking and going on a rampage on a TV show after they do that annoying thing where they bring out animals and they bring out a spider. Okay. Yeah, th yeah thank you, Maury. It's a pleasure. Uh, well, I'm here to plug, you know, AEW, the various work, my YouTube, that whole thing. It'll be great. Yeah. Oh, I, I like a great many things. And I'm certainly afraid of a lot of things, too. The dark being one, you know. What? Well, I, I guess. I don't think it's particularly unique. I think other people are, too. You know, what? Don't worry. Don't. Bring out something. But this show's supposed to be stupid and ridiculous. Cotton balls. Pickles. Onions. Those with, oh, I'm afraid of doilies. Some weird shit. Supposed to plan, it's not supposed to be real. Maury, don't be a Maury, don't be a dick. Do not be a dick. I'm not coming to the cabin this year. I will tell Connie no. Stop it. No. Maury, he's gonna go have a cigarette. Great. Great. Fantastic. What about a paternity test? Well, I claim to knock somebody up. Don't bring this out. Don't do this to me. Maury. I knew I should have went on Montel. End scene. Oh, that was for you, Leo. Uh, Matt Sanity said the 2015 Odd Couple with Matthew Perry and Thomas Lennon was decent. It could have lasted longer. They could have just not done it, too. I mean, listen, I'm enjoying your facial hair today. Thank you. I'll be shaving tomorrow before I leave. Um, Amanda said, so I got bottle service after AIW on Friday and did shots with Joey Janela and Bill Alfonso. And then Alfonso was following me around trying to hit on me, and I had to run away. You know what's nice, though, is that he has the whistle. Mike said, my wife wants to know your opinion on the Phantom movie. I, I really am fascinated by the choice of Gerard Butler, who decided that it's best to just scream instead of sing. The world shall no compassion to me with my face. And my larger issue, and this is a casting thing that comes up a lot, the Phantom should not be hot. He should be old and creepy. And the love should be in the music and the care he shows. Because when he puts the mask on, you're not going to fuck that guy? Somebody wrote a comment here. Let's see who it is. Let's see. Was he, though? Jim Varney? Fuckable? Chad. Chad. Come on, Chad. Go look up Jim Varney right now. People tweet about it all the time. He's very handsome. It's a shame because he did the Vern thing and you go, oh, gee, this guy would be on some sort of Netflix cop drama, too. And he'd be killing it. You could put him in The Walking Dead. You could have put him in The Last of Us. This is a real shame. Uh, Nail said, who is Alfonso? You're going to have to look him up, Nails. Bill Alfonso. SM has been a member for 34 months. What a journey it's been. Machete said Billy Joel could, couldn't hold a candle to RJ. No, because his fingers are too thick. Uh, Amanda said, oh, snap, he's so far behind. Jess said, hello, everyone. I'm a little bit late today because I've been sick the past couple days. Bazit said, RJ and everybody, what's your favorite music video from the 2000s? I was really engrossed by Stan. I really was writing on a lot of letter writing. I like that one. That Evanescence one where they're falling. Oh, my God. No, what weapon of choice. When I saw that as a kid, that was like, bleh. I also like the 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 other Fatboy Slim, uh, Praise You. 
with the guys dancing by break dancing by himself and they're telling the story about how he lost his wife. I those ones hit me. They were really good. B13 said you could do a Nat King Cole unforgettable. I need some work there. Um Leo said, Tommy Wiseau designs watches. You should buy one of those. I, yeah, I really want to support him. He needs it. He's a, an artist. Uh, as M said, famous last words by My Chemical Romance, cabaret style. Look, it's going to have to be because I don't know the melody. Famous last words, lyrics. Why are we... Now, I know that I can't make you stay, but where is your heart? But bum bum but where's your heart? Where's your... And I know that, that there's nothing I can say to change that part. But a bum to change that part. Da, 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 to change so many bright lights, they cast a shadow. But can I speak? Well, it's hard understanding. I am incomplete. A life that's so demanding. Oh, boy, I get so weak. A love that's so demanding. Shh, I cannot speak. I'm not afraid to keep on living, not afraid to walk this world alone. Honey, if you stay, I'll be forgiven. Nothing you can stay can stop me going home. Can you see my eyes are shining bright? Because I'm out here on the other side of the jet black hotel mirror, and I'm so weak. But I'm bum bum bum. Is it hard understanding? I'm incomplete. But I'm bum bum bum. I love that show demanding. I get weak. Da 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 da. Jesus. These bright lights have always blinded me. I can't see. I see you lying next to me. But I'm bow with words I thought I'd never speak awake and unafraid, asleep or dead. Make up your mind, because I see you lying next to me with words I thought I'd never speak awake and unafraid, asleep or dead. What? I'm not afraid to keep on living. I'm not afraid to walk this world alone. Honey, if you stay, I'll be forgiven. Nothing you can say can stop me going home. Horrible, horrible, horrible song. What a horrible choice, SM. Jesus. Uh, Nails just looked up Bill Alfonso on Twitter and still don't know him. I don't know what to tell you, Nails. Learn. Nick said, RJ, I love you so much. Thank you for the garage sale, but that's exactly how this is going. Of course. I, I know that scene. Rob said, Bezit, window liquor. But what are we talking about? Midnight Cowboy said, have you heard back from Toru Yanu yet on being on Hey uh, for Forbidden Door 2? No, I haven't. He does not follow me. He's not liked to tweet. He's not acknowledged me at all. I'm being big league and it hurts. Messani said, Jen's reference to me as one of her best friends was about what you said on her cameo. Oh, I remember this cameo now. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. It's all coming together now. Oh, boy, I am far behind. Uh, Christine said, I met Alfonso at Greek Town last year. We just awkwardly smile and nod each other at each other. I just met Wardlow, so I did not care about anything else. Poor Bill. Leo said, I wear scented oils usually used for scented candles instead of cologne. A lot of cool and nice scents to choose from. I like the essential oils. Put a little dab of peppermint behind my ears and have a good time. John said, sounds like a spider in the ceiling is reminiscent of the cure's lullaby. Okay. Uh, Nails just read Bill Alfonso's Wikipedia to get up to date. Good. Um, everyone's laughing. Christine said, I still remember a Letterman bit where he and Connie Chung spent the day together and bought shoe trees from Maury. It's hard for people to understand, but there was a part, it was a point in this world where Maury Povich was like a legitimate reporter. And then he was just like, I'm good. Let's cash it in. Leo said, somehow I remember that Maury Olive clip from all those years ago. I saw that clip again in 2021. I didn't even know we had Maury in the UK. Well, he's transcended. He reaches across borders, doesn't he? Jess said, the Phantom should just be Long Chaining. My point exactly. Steven said, have you ever watched Mystery Science Theater 3000? I don't think I've ever watched a full episode. I've seen it. I like it. But I don't know if I really, really watched it. Kendi has been a member for three months. You're still burgeoning, little one. John said, doesn't know Bill Alfonso. Or, okay, it's, fi it's fine. It's on her. And she's looking at, she's, Nails is doing the right thing. She doesn't know who Bill Alfonso was. So she said, you know what? I'm going to look him up. So congrats to you for taking responsibility. Rod said, how much better would it have been if Kiss meets the Phantom of the Opera instead of Kiss meets the Phantom of the Park? Also, how did that movie get made? Because Kiss was too popular. Too much power. 
Leo said, RJ's favorite is Lens Steal My Sunshine. A bit of brother and sister action. I'll say, hop on the jet ski. And let's go for a ride. Almighty said, my favorite Bill Alfonso moment was when he was wrestling a lady in AEW when some kid all of 10 years old shouted, someone call AARP and see if he's covered for this. I think that kid was fed that line. Leo said, I still think Chemical Romance sucks. I can honestly say I've never liked and Christine said, I don't know this song either, so this will be my forever version. Justin said, do you have a movie you can only watch during bad weather? Yes, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, a movie that takes place entirely in the rain. John said, try singing the greatest song in the world. Tribute by Tenacious. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I think I'm good. Amanda said, does Run even know who MCR is? Though? What are we talking about? Christine said, What? He's like a suburban dad. You call this music? I mean, when you break down the lyrics, they shit. I don't know what to say. But as it said, do you guys have a Discord community? I don't run one, but I think there is. Can someone can someone tell Bazit? Can Bazit join the Discord if there is one? Nail said, I never know anything that's going on here, and I have to Google everything. It's astonishing. I've been around for so long and still manage to have fun. It's called learning. You have a and your brain wants to learn things. Let's see. Somebody else wrote another tweet. How does no one remember the Fonzie running in on all of RVD's matches with that whistle? Because not everyone had access to ECW. I don't want to give the, oh, nobody watched ECW. But their regular programming, when it was on weekly TV, before TNN, was impossible to find in Canada. I would read magazines. That's what I had to do. I would download clips from like LimeWire. That's how hard it was. You don't, you can't, there was no YouTube at that peak. So then you, you, you do kind of miss it, unfortunately. I mean, now you can go back and see it. Midnight Cowboy said, are you familiar with Mass Effect video game trilogy? Would love to see you do a playthrough. It would be very comical. I'm, I, I mean, I know it. I haven't done it. Is it, is it there too many cutscenes? There's too many cutscenes. I'm out. And... There's something else about, oh my God, I've been playing Streets of Rage. I'm still trying to crack it and just get the final. I have like two achievements left. And then after that, I might do some videos of Trombone Champ because it speaks to me in my heart. Leo said, I wore a peppermint one, but it just reminded me of mouthwash. And then it reminded me of the dentist and I have a dentist phobia. Sometimes I put mouthwash behind my ears. I will actually clean my ears uh, with mouthwash. I will dip a Q-tip in it because it is an antiseptic. And if you're traveling or something, it's got a little tip. Amanda said, have you used the travel press yet? Not yet, because I need to get the coffee for it. I, it has to be the right travel scenario. So hang in there, and I will. Uh, Christine has gifted five memberships. Midnight Cowboy, John Woodmans, Lawrence Cartier, very fancy, and Muscles Marinara, less fancy, and Amy Croft. All get memberships. So God bless you. Leo said, who will, in, who will go into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame first, Nickelback? Or Fozzie, I'd say I'd say Nickelback just for writing that raw theme. Who did Across the Nation? Mia said I watched everything everywhere all at once last week, and that movie was so weird. Am I the only one? Like, it didn't seem that weird compared to other movies I've seen. Everyone's go. That was so weird. It's like yes, if you've watched only movies with talking before. Let's see. There's another comment here. I think you'd enjoy Dungeon Keeper 1. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, as I said, I don't know who Bill Alfonso is, and I don't want to know. Jucifer said, oh, yeah, Canadians. I forgot. Sean said, I don't think there's a Discord, but there's definitely a group DM on Twitter. I had no idea about this. Pam said, if there's a Discord, I would hope on what? I would hope if it's a disaster. What are we talking about? Miss Annie said, I'm in the New York area. I would watch ECW on MSG Network on Friday or Saturday nights at 2 a.m., okay? That's how difficult it was to find. Uh, Splat Horror and Beyond said, yep, old school ECW was so hard to find at times. It's still hard to find. Rod said, entire chat of young people now scrambling to Google LimeWire. Wasn't there a tomato one, too? I, Kaza, briefly, but LimeWire felt, felt better than Napster. Uh, Jess said, I'm definitely not on that Twitter group DM. I'm not organizing it for you. You guys can figure that shit out for yourselves. 
Kirk said, ECW was totally unavailable in New Zealand. It was hard enough to see WCW. We would only get, in Canada, we got the WCW Power Hour. We got no pay-per-views or major TV. We would get, like, Big Josh against Bobby Eaton. And it would be Jim Ross and Paul E. with, like, the worst green screen. Sean said, hit me up on Twitter. It's the same handle, and I can add you to the Twitter group DM. That's nice. Tybo said, LimeWire. Now, that's a name I have not heard in many years. Steven said, you ever smoke the ganj? Not if you're going to call it that. I don't think I smoked that. Um, I never had good experiences, to be honest with you. The rare, it was like every one in 10 times, I go, I'm relaxed. I, we, I get two in my mind. Even when I drink, I get too aware of becoming drunk. And then I'm, I, and the awareness goes up, which should be the opposite. Like, it's not what you want. You know what I mean? I get cold. Also, this smoking, like you're smoking. Take the drugs out of it. You're like, it's a thing that's on fire and I'm inhaling the smoke of it in my mouth. It's not good for my lungs. It is not as bad as cigarettes, but also it's still not good. I could just not do it. I could just chew gum. I hope uh, my history of marijuana smoking has been sufficient for you. Rob said, LimeWire had so many viruses. The real ticket was a site called Audio Galaxy. Oh, wow. Positively, E said the Union Underground wrote across the nation. That was my favorite Raw song. Leo said, do you think you will look like Tommy Wiseau when you get old? Best case scenario, I look like Nick Cave. I was just saying this to somebody, that I want to look like Nick Cave if he ate better and wasn't so sad all the time. <laughs> Positively, E said Nickelback's best song is Something in Your Mouth. I bet. Nell said, there was a Discord, but I don't have the Discord anymore, so I don't know who's using it. There's a DM group chat, and that's been around forever. I'm sure I can add anyone who wants in, so direct your inquiries to Nails. Christine said, people have said too many nice things about me this week. Well, that's your problem. Get used to it. Um, ah, there we go. Steve said, can you recommend a nice green tea? No, I can't. <coughs> Did you miss the name of the show? I cannot. By the way, if you want to buy my coffee instead of green tea, you can get it at rootlesscoffee.com. And you can get Dan Housen since he's only got one arm now. Uh, Rob said, Christine, want me to say something nasty to balance out the universe? Neil said, RJ, we have a group chat where we share you letting down your hair and links to stuff you're doing. Well, isn't that nice? Little community board. Nail said, DM her on Twitter and you'll... She will add you. Mia said, well, I just like tweeting you guys. I don't need any more chats in my life. I'll say, I don't think I've ever used a group DM before. Leo said, have you ever spoke to Tony Schiavone about Kiss? I know you hate them, but he's a diehard fan and also a big Kiss fan. I'd love to know if he saw Paul Stanley in The Phantom. I don't, uh, I don't know if Tony likes me, which is discussed on the episode of AW Unrestricted, which will come out maybe next week. Nell said, it's not a case that we left anyone out. It's just that it was created ages ago. So everyone calm down. Bridget says hello. And I say hello to you, Bridget. Typo said, I don't want to smoke the ganj because I feel like my anxiety would just get worse. That's happened to me. And maybe it's all about types and who you're with. And But I don't have the time. Uh, Bill Alfonso was a ref and also a manager. We're still doing this? Leo said, I only did the ganj, the ganj. Once with a girl I dated who smoked it like it was going out of fashion. You thought she was so cool. But did she do that to you? Tracy said, it's relieving to hear someone else had the same reaction to drinking that I do. It's annoying. I've never been like, ah, I could really, like, I really want to get drunk to relax right now. Never. I've always kind of been talked into it. And then I will have a little and then be worried about it. Does not make me feel good otherwise. Um, Pam said if the chat is on Twitter I'm out but enjoy it. I don't have Twitter I don't think you're missing anything if you're not in this chat but as it said we used to get old school ECW and most pay-per-views dubbed on Bollywood tapes oh my god Kirk said can you pull off the Australian accent for your transformation into Nick Cave uh, I can say I can have an Australian accent only in for certain words Simi Dan Dirty robot, dirty cockroach robot, 
13, 14, Simmy Dan. That's it. And that was taught to me by James Elmer, uh, who is kook in Splatalot. So I hope that works for you. But as it said, I've been off Twitter for some time. I will check in with you guys when I get back. Again, I don't think you're missing. It's not something you need to run out and do. Um, Splat said, worst wrestling road trip that you've ever been a part of. Um, there's been a few blizzardy ones where there were spin outs and those were not fun. Even the one mild car accident I was in was really depressing because we had to tape the side mirror back on and drive in the winter with the window open all the way home. So that, that was not the best one. Uh, but I've also done shows and this might not count as the worst road trip. Well, kind of, we almost wrestled in Rockland once which is like past uh, Ottawa. So very, very far east, six, seven hours. It was an afternoon show. So we had to leave early, early in the morning. And we got there and it was a fair show and it was raining and they had no covering over the ring. So they paid us half the money and we had to turn around and go home. Um, Miss Andy said, Kiss's appearance on the Paul Lind Halloween special was, well, it happened. I know, it's not good for how good it sounds. Squirrel Squad said, what's the strangest movie you've ever seen? Have you ever seen Sorry to Bother You? That movie took a turn. Um, In terms of totally strange, I think Enemy was very strange with Jake Gyllenhaal. It's a fantastic movie, uh, but it's incredibly strange. What else was like? Strange, like I always found Dr. Fives to be strange. I'm trying to think of like Skidoo was very strange. <laughs> there was a lot, a lot of those let's do drugs and write movies. I always thought those were strange. Enemy is at the top of my list, it's one of my favorite movies, but it's like, what the fuck? Um, Leo said, drinking too much. Oh, Lord, I'm, I'm lost here. Drinking to uh, Leo, Leo. Oh my God, I'm so far behind. Oh no, I went ahead now. Drinking too much gives me so much anxiety and depression the next day. That's the shit. And the post drunk dry mouth is awful. That's the stuff that keeps me really from drinking that much at all. Machete, the Ganja expert, says uh, sativa strains tend to increase anxiety, indica strains are more relaxing. It all depends on your THC receptors. Everyone is different. I, I, like, I don't have the interest to figure that shit out. Cody said, coffee, beer. What are we doing here, Cody? Mia said, if you're going to the Ring of Honor tapings, let me know so we can do lunch, maybe? Do you, it, it, no, there's no lunch. I'm not going to the tapings. I'm going to the pay-per-view. I don't know when the next Ring of Honor tapings are. I, I'm, maybe I'm not there if I don't know when they are. Christine said, oh, my God, RJ saying, Simi Dan just sent me. T said, I had a terrible pot high for four hours. I'm too old to waste precious hours feeling like garbage. This is my point. Uh... Lauren said, I think Dirty Cockroach Robot are playing Coachella this year. One of the great Australian uh, metal bands. Mike said, Aussie open for Hey W. Let's make it happen. I don't think they're there regularly or else I would put them on a list. Once they're there every week, I'm like, okay, I'll get these people. Rob said, you've played Knifey Spoonie before. I have. What? What are we talking about? The fuck is Knifey Spoonie? Uh... Mia, I loved how much screen time you had on Ring of Honor. Mia's on Ring of Honor more than I am. Pam said, no bueno being paid half and in the rain. I know, it's not my fault we didn't fucking wrestle. Rod said, have you sung a car duet while on the road with Dalton? Yeah. Uh, I, what is Knifey Sp Stop talking about Knifey Spoonie. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, positively, E said, dude, where's my car is a weird one. I, yeah, I found it very unusual. Rod said, do drugs and write the entire life plan of Sid and Marty Croft. And speaking of weird movies, the Blue Mini is here. Speaking of sitting, doing drugs and writing movies, that Yellow Submarine is a piece of shit. But yet, we got Blue Mini out of it, so it works for me. Good morning, Blue Mini. Uh, Zabrinsky's Point was a 60s weird movie. Oh, my God. There's so many old black and white movies that I just remembered. Um, the Black Cat 
with Boris Karloff and Lon Chaney is like really, really, really weird. Um, Gina said, I will be looking for RJ now at the Ring of Honor pay-per-view to say hi. I don't come out to the crowd. Cody said, who will be a two-timer on Hey W? Well, I can say that Tony Khan has asked to come back on. And especially since I've been working there for over a year now, I think it's going to be an entirely different interview. Number one. Number two, I think Ricky Starks wanted to come back on because last time he was with Will Hobbs and maybe that threw the energy off. He stopped it halfway through and went to start again. He, I think he feels like he can do a better one now. And I feel like I can too. So I think that one deserves another shot. Um, you know, Adam Cole I've been speaking to a lot. So maybe he should come on again another time. But having said that, there are so many people who have not been on. Like I sent uh, to that person. Kangman, Brian Danielson, Moxley, Kenny, The Bucks, Don Callis, um, Athena, Thunder Rosa. Uh, what are we at? Eight. Michael Nakazawa. Um, the House of Black. That's that's ten just off the top of my head. Pac. This is, I mean, we could do this all day. I think I I. The, when I sent that guy the message back, it came up with like 30 off the top of my head. I'm like, oh, we're going to be here for a while. And Mike said, how many more episodes are left from the Ring of Honor dark tapings? I what? I don't know. I do my thing. The thing you see me do is what I do. Um, Stop talking about knifey spoonie. Steven said, well, weed helps me with my anxiety and depression is why I was wondering. I mean, good. I'm not stopping you from doing it, but I'm saying it was not happening for me. It's just a whole, it's another thing I got to do. You know what I mean? B13 said, I will play, pay all the money for an RJ City and Dalton Castle duet album. Get ruckus on it and it's gangbusters. Also, TXC isn't for everyone, but it is for me. I'm not shaming you. Ari said, hey, RJ, what's your favorite song or a band of all time? I would go with Paul Simon. And I would perhaps say still crazy after all these years. I think that's a safe choice for me. Uh, Rod said, I think that we could all use more Christopher, Massachusetts. Positively, he said, tell Tony to leave the memories alone. Stokely Hathaway is another one, and, and I hope he's enjoying retirement. Pam said, I think you need to have Ricky Starks again as solo. See, she knows. It's so sweet that Tony asked to come on again. Well, he, he mainly, let's do it again. Let's do another one. He told me. So now I have a list of grievances about working there for the whole year. So it'll be a nice... Uh, it may be an exit interview for me. Nail said, I'm just going to remind everyone, I want Prince Nana and the Gates of Agony and Brian Cage. Nana, Nana, he's coming. May said, there's so much to talk about with Don Callis, and that's even before I speak. Ari said, I need to get Takeshita on the show. I need to get Sheeta on the show. I need to get uh, Emi Sakura. I need to get Maki Ito. I need to get Diamante. Somebody just tweeted about it. People ask for Abaddon all the time. I, she, she's, I don't know if she's injured or healing. If she appears right, she's not a person who tells people where she'll be. Um, Cold Cabana is another one. Christine said there's still a ton more guests. Plus, who knows who will show up over time? We've gotten a tremendous amount of people so far. T said, do you feel like you can now wrangle anyone in an interview that you're a Merv Griffin black belt? Well, yes. My my theory is, and I've never been given a hard no. It's also been, I can't right now, or this is not the, for whatever reason, you're like, okay, but I always feel like there's a way to get to people. And the more we build up, I feel like the more we'll get to. Um, Taibo said, you can lure Takeshita onto the set with a Cinnabon. Pam said, no Thunder Rosa. We got to fix that. I will make some calls. I just added her to the list. I think she'll do it. She has to be on a while. I think we can get her. Absolutely. Um, AEW's Bob for Hey AEW. I don't know who that is. Daniel Garcia. Uh, Sammy and Ty Conti. Anna J. Jungle Boy. Christian, if he's still alive. Um... Leo said, tell Tony to have a cool pay-per-view and special episode sets like a beach set for Beach Break or a festival theme for Fighter Fest and a casino set for Double or Nothing. I want those giant, 
I want me and Renee to do the pre-show from those giant poker chips that they had that one time. Cody said Lulu Pencil. I would love to have Lulu Pencil on. Candy said, what's on for the cheat day today? For 12 o'clock, I have a calzone coming and two pizzas. I have, a, I think I have a white, some sort of white. It's not a traditional white. And then like a margarita. And then I have so much fucking ice cream. I have, I got the ones, those Ben and Jerry's, I think they're called tops. Like they have toppings on top. There's a strawberry cheesecake one. There's one called thick mint, which sounds a little sexual. Then I got, I think, peanut butter and cookie and something else. Bananas foster or something. Shit. When, when, you get, when you go through four pints, you get to strategize. So just like I have the margarita and then the white, and I'll go slice, 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 so I never get bored of it. I'll go a fruity flavor, which is like the bananas foster, and then more of a chocolatey, thicker, like a, uh, the, the peanut butter cookie or the thick mint, and then I'll go to the strawberry and then back to the other. So... This is all strategic. It's good cheat day psychology. Rob said, what I think we're concluding here is that Hey W needs to become a bi-weekly show. I don't know. Look, I don't care what people's sexual orientations are, but if they want to come on the show, I'm happy to have them. We've also talked about having all the refs on at once, um, which I'm very excited about. Who else do we need to have? Samoa Joe we need to have on the show. Um... Ty of Valkyrie, who they just had. Um, can we have the Lucha Brothers on the show? Will they come on? I would love to talk to Penta. Please. Alex, I know already. Uh, B said, if you could do an episode of Hey W with any golden era wrestler, who would it be? And why is it Tugboat? I'm so, I will say this. When I was doing WWE stuff and we had a SummerSlam special planned, uh, I was very, very close to having Tugboat on, the man himself. I'll say what this pitch is. So you remember I had in the, the WrestleMania After Dark, which is like, what? It's been two years? Jesus. We had that clip of him going, who, as like a punchline, th- like as a rim shot to tell people when to laugh. And then I thought, well, this year we should have him live. Uh, and I was able to get to him. And I, I was very confident that it would have been good. would have a live tugboat in the corner of the room doing that it would would have been great they're fucking lost um if you had to do an episode with any golden era wrestler who would it be i I gotta think freddie blassie or lou albano and probably lou albano i don't think anyone i mean he made me laugh so much sting on hey w oh my god go tweet sting and ask him if he'll do the show christy said excalibur i have news for you christy He's already been on. Go look it up. Noble Matt said, can we get you on Quizzlemania again, please? Me and Shomar Sap won those titles, and they never had us back. Fuck them. If they want me back, they can pay me. That's bullshit. Um, <clears throat> Negative one would be great. Yes, I've had him on the list, too. Maybe a Hey W Back to School special. Christine said, where do you find these ice cream flavors? Christine is in Canada and you got to search and you got to order them. Sometimes they have Benadryl, like check out maybe an Uber Eats or something. You got to find it's weird. You got to look, you got to hunt. Mike said, are you finishing all this food in one day? Either that, or I just vomit and die. Tom said, RJ's Pavlovian response to someone saying they want someone on the show is to read the AW roster page. I feel like I'm the only one who uses it. Cause I do use that website for like, who's clicking on, aw.com just to look at the roster like the old days i do it a lot though uh because sometimes i need like a rolodex of people rod said if ben and jerry had an ice cream in your honor by the way my mom said this a couple weeks ago somebody asked that question too and someone was like they should do an ice cream flavor for you and i said yeah let me fucking call them and she said maybe it's a campaign everyone could ask them to make you one it's like stephen colbert colin kaepernick and me um what would i want something minty i would like a key lime pie flavored ice cream i think that would be good and maybe a little bit of cookie in there but also the the pie crust i like when i put the pie crust in leo said have you ever forgot to wash a protein shaker yes probably one of the most disgusting things i've smelled in my life i had went through a lot of those experiences in high school you're not good at taking care of things oh it was horrible 
Muscles Marinara said, Paisan, how you doing? Muscles Marinara, I don't know if you can tell this, is Italian. Mia said, strawberry cheesecake is so good. T. Fuller said, I like a man who's serious about desserts. Kirk said, my diabetes is crying hearing all the sweet goodness. I'm so sorry. Positively, he said, two pizzas. Do you want us to bury you in an Adidas bag? Well, what are you going to do? Christine said, I tried Longo's pistachio ice cream after your Ben and Jerry's, and it was awful. Yeah, stick with the Ben and Jerry's. B said, have you ever had homemade ice cream? Yes, it is very good. Squirrel said, every Sunday your cheat meals are enough dairy that would legitimately kill me. Yet, we persevered. It's something you got to work up to. You can't just jump into the deep end like that. Uh, Pam said, yes, Lucha Brothers. Nail said, I enjoy Penta. I adore Penta, excuse me. Uh, Rod said, Mark Briscoe is one of the top 50 episodes of Hey W for sure. Thank you, Rod. I've never heard that joke before. Uh, Yolanda said, good morning, everybody. Yolanda is late as fuck. We have less than five minutes to go. Tugboat, uh, Kirk said, Tugboat is the goat. Uh, Rob said, have you tried their ranch ice cream yet? No, I probably won't. Mike said, Bobby Heenan would have been a great guest. I, don't, I feel like it would have been too clashy. I mean, he said, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I don't. He's fantastic. I feel like it's too much of the same shit. Christine said, Lou Albano would have been awesome. John said, Mark Briscoe, very brave man. That guy has balls. Chrissy said, not me going and realizing I've already watched the Excalibur one, but loading it up to watch again later. Ari said, I'm going to need Wardlow back on the show soon. Your interview with him is amazing, and I watch it back all the time. Well, that's so sweet. Leo said, Ryan Nemeth is very funny. He would be good. The wingmen were on the list, and then they kept changing. We were, the workhorsemen left. Are they part of them? Are they not? But they are definitely on the list. Um, QTV. I would like to get that whole crew on the show. Figure out what they're all about. Kirk said they don't update the win-loss records on the roster page anymore. Well, that's a shame. Um, Cookie Key Lime said Poe Girl. Mm, that is good. Gina said, now that RJ mentioned Sean Ross Sapp, I would love to see him on the show. If you ask the internet, he is on the payroll. Yeah, I'm not. He's not getting a dime out of me. I can tell you that. Um, John said Nemeth would be fun. Christine said, I use the roster page to try and guess the next Hey W guest based on RJ's hints, and then I feel dumb and I still can't figure it out. I give smart clues. Um, Rod said, the joke still plays now that you've officially hit 50 episodes. Steven said, isn't Muscle Marinara's Enzo Amore? I hope not. B said, Big Bill is another person I need to have on the show. Lee Moriarty. <clears throat> B said, wait, I was late and missed the underwear reveal curses. I'll do a, a close shot at the end. Rob said the B&J's key lime flavor would be summer in the RJ City. Oh, sold. Now we just need to start the campaign. Christy said, what about Uno and Dark Order? Christy, pick up a fucking newspaper. I've already had them on. They were on like two months ago. Amanda said, I'm headed to Cleveland Fan Expo today. I'm hoping to meet the Trailer Park Boys. Well, good luck. Christine said, key lime to the city. Ah, Rob, that may be better. Steven said, thank you for your match with Dalton Castle at Destiny. It was a masterpiece. I liked that one, too. Pam said, Peter Avalon is another on Hey W. Well, he would be in the wingman. Uh, we need Stu on Hey W. Stu missed the boat. Midnight said, Luther and Serpentico. Of course. Pogrel said, is Keith Lee still wrestling? Yes, he's teaming with Dustin Rhodes, who also needs to be on the show. Jake Roberts needs to be on the show. Oh, my God. John said, Avalon is looking serious at the moment. I like his new look. Leva Bates needs to be on the show. Um, Leo said, Keith Lee was on TV a few weeks ago. I think he was on like literally a week ago. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, anyway, please, I will implore you, go watch the latest Hey W with Mark Briscoe. Tell him you love him. Like it, comment, watch and watch again, and then go share it and tell everyone and pester AW. Uh, to put more of it up. Continue to watch it. I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle. There's more Rampage highlights coming out. And I'll be upset if Mark doesn't get the view he deserves because he put it, the guy's got seven children. You understand what I'm saying? And then uh, I will also see you on Wednesday. No, I won't see you. I will hear you on Wednesday uh, when I talk to Adam Cole and Dr. Britt Baker, who apparently is a dentist. And I'll talk to them about their personal lives. So it will be a nice time. Let's get a look at the underwear. They're all black, uh, which is great. They're nice. They're Armani. It's a nice shot. It's a good time. I think you get the gist. I think we all get the... See, there's both sides. They're all the same. 
There you go. There it is. Uh, this is. I'm so glad we had this time together. Go watch the show. I will see you uh, in a variety of ways, in a variety of places. And I've mentioned so much, but uh, who knows where else I'll show up. But just shh, go watch AEW. What the fuck am I saying? Drive you to that. It's in the comments. It's on the, the tweets. Love, tweet, share, all that routine. And until next time, cut speed.